Intracranial causes, the source of the storm. If the blood work is normal and there are no toxins involved, we have to look inside the skull. We call these intracranial causes. Number one, idiopathic epilepsy. The most common diagnosis in dogs is idiopathic epilepsy. The profile. This typically hits young to middle-aged dogs between one and five years old. It is suspected to be genetic. The cat caveat. While it exists in cats, it is much less common. If a cat starts seizing, there is usually a pathology behind it. The diagnosis. Idiopathic literally means we don't know why. It is a diagnosis of exclusion. You only diagnose this after you have ruled out toxins, metabolic issues, and structural brain disease. Number two, structural brain disease. If the patient is older, over six years, or very young, less than one year, we worry about structural issues. The big C. In older animals, brain tumors, meningiomas, gliomas are a primary differential. The inflammation. We also see encephalitis or meningoencephalitis, like GME in dogs. The physical. Don't forget physical insults like trauma, strokes, or congenital issues like hydrocephalus, water on the brain, in puppies and toy breeds. Number three, infectious invaders. Finally, we have the infections. Dogs. We screen for distemper, neospora, and toxoplasma. Cats. FIP is a major player here, along with toxoplasmosis and cryptococcus, a fungal infection often found in nasal cavities that migrates to the brain.